Hey DM Crafters, great to have you with me. Today we're going to make a dilapidated lift uh, for a sewer layer. So kind of a cool, fun, quick, easy project. So let's hit my table and make that dilapidated lift. Hey guys, to start my rickety lift, I'm going to use this twine I got from the dollar store, really cheap twine. And uh, what I'm going to do is just cut off a section. I just need a, actually a four inch section, so I want to do a little longer than that. And I'm going to soak it in the water, just get it wet. And I'm going to use my white glue and go along the length of the twine. Because what I want to do is I want to saturate this with glue. So now I'll start rubbing it into the twine. And the goal is to get this a hard piece that I can use for the lift. So I'll just bend, twist that in and let it dry and just use my uh, glue all. Now here's the lift itself. It's a three inch cardboard piece I've cut between the corrugations and add a little bit of hot glue for detail. Now these are beads I'm going to use for the to attach the rope to the lift and I've marked on the on the lift uh, base where I want the uh, beads to go. So I'll just uh, uh, glue that, put a dab of hot glue on there and I glue the pieces on there. And it really doesn't matter what color at this point. And pull those strings off and let it harden up. So there we go. Now I've got my uh, twine that's hardened up. I'm going to trim the ends off so they're flat. And then I'll start gluing them into the beads uh, to make the, the, uh, the pulley for the lift or the pull for the lift. So I'll just uh, bend those in like a teepee uh, because they're going to meet in the center. And that'll be where the, uh, the lift rope uh, converges to, uh, for the lift. So, okay, got those dried up. Now I've got a couple more beads. And I'm going to use these for... Uh, where the ropes converge into the central uh, rope. So I've got the three ropes there and I'm going to cut that off. Okay. So, and uh, you can see those are nice, still nice and stiff because I put the glue on them. And I'm going to put this bead in the center there. I'll just put some hot glue. Just going to pinch that together. Uh, hot glue that bead onto the center. And uh, you can see all the ropes go up into that one central point there. And uh, get that hardened up and bent up how I want it. Now I'll glue the second bead to the top because that'll be where the rope, uh, the main pulley rope meets the other ropes. Okay, so I've got that all connected with the hot glue and uh, let that harden up for a sec. And now I've got the, uh, the rope for the lift and it's two inches. The other ropes are um, four inches. Okay, so I'm going to add this to the top there. And there we go. We have our lift. Super easy. All right, now I spray painted this black, and I'm going to use my technique of uh, base painting it uh, with a dark uh, burnt umber. And uh, this will give a nice undercoat, under uh, color of dark brown. So I'll just paint the whole thing, the ropes and everything. And uh, once we get that all painted up, we'll start adding some other colors. So we let that dry up. Now we're going to add a uh, kind of a lighter moccasin brown, and we'll uh, dry brush that on the uh, planks of the lift and you can see how that detail is really popping out a little bit. I added a little bit of hot glue to those and gave it gave a nice uh, rough detail. And I'm going to use some tan for the ropes so I'll just paint the ropes uh, with that and that'll bring out the, uh, the look of the ropes. And I like how raggedy they look from the twine. It's pretty nice. Adds to the uh, ambiance of the rickety lift. So there we go. Paint up those ropes. And uh, now I'm going to add a Mississippi mud, and this is kind of a nice color. It's, it's in a sewer, so it'll give it a nice aged look as well as just kind of muck on it, which I really like. And so I'll just add that. There we go. We've got the uh, base coats on, and now I need to do some detail. So I'm going to use my um, gun metal to paint the joints where the ropes meet, and uh, uh, essentially covering the beads, and just paint those all gun metal. And uh, I really like how those look. It just really transforms, transforms them from beads to uh, uh, hardware on the lift. Now I'm going to use the uh, Burnt Sienna, and that's a little bit of a rust color, and that'll give it a nice uh, age. So there we go. We'll uh, look at the table. Oh, there, Scotty. Watch it. All right. There we go. Let's head to the table. Our adventurers are in the sewer, and they come across the uh, rickety lift. And now they get to argue about uh, who will be the one to have to take the lift. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, yeah, I guess uh, Roderick got picked, so he's going to take the lift. So he goes down, 
and uh, you can uh, just simulate that by having another building another 2.5D next tile and uh, popping them down to the next uh, sewer level. So there you go. There is our uh, our Ricky lift, and he made it. Yay, Roderick made it. All right, let's give you a look at this uh, bad boy. All right. There we go. I think that uh, detail on the base looks really nice. It really gives the appearance of being rickety. Uh, the rope uh, technique worked really great, uh, as well as the beads look like nice hardware. So there we go. There's our rickety lift. Easy peasy. Hey DM Crafters, thanks for being a part of the DM's Craft. We are starting another year of super fun RPG crafting. So make sure you check out my channel. I have tons and tons of awesome cool videos coming out for you guys. So uh, let's make this a fantastic, fun crafting year. And uh, remember what I always say, go forth and craft. All right, now lower me down gently. Whoa, whoa, mage, stop it. Whoa, stop with that mage hand. Whoa, I'm going to backhand you when you get down here.